Welcome to the ACCA Strategic Business Leader or SBO September 2024, the latest pricing analysis. My name is Steve Chen and I'll be taking you through to the entire SBO study here. Now, the current case, the case name, I've prepared my pricing application notes as before, is the Beagle Company and it is operating in the TNC industry. Now, what do I mean by TNC industry? It's the transport network company industry. So this means that the Beagle company is very similar to Uber. Okay, so uh, I'm sure that you've heard of that Uber. Okay, so it's the Uber company. Let's say such as this, providing the right hailing, right sharing, and even the food delivery and micro mobility, it's like the e-bikes and scooters and so on. Now, of course, in this industry, it seems that a lot of people have used the services from Uber before, and of course, they find it relatively easy to understand from the user or the consumer's point of view how the industry actually looks like. However, from the exam's point of view, it's not from a consumer's point of view. It is from the company's point of view, which is the Beagle company. And therefore, apart from the pricing material prepared by the ACCA, including the introduction okay, to the case and the industry, and I will be going through the introduction in this video, and then we will be given the TNC industry information about the services, customers and drivers and so on, including the electric vehicles, which I believe that we need to work hard on this area, I mean from the Beagle Company's point of view, in order to differentiate ourselves from others. And in particular, in the current case, I will bring the strategy clock, okay, so in uh, I mean, you see uh, one of the models and in the ACCA syllabus and how it could be linked with a Beagle Company later on. And the Beagle Company so for you, especially for the ownership part, currently Beagle Company is already a public listed company already. Now, should these type of companies in this industry be listed? My answer would certainly be no, okay, because uh, we could perhaps find the private equity or the VCs to fund our operations and to improve the flexibility. So perhaps on the exam day, the bigger company is going to be delisted from the stock exchange or possibly not. But anyway, we will need to think about the corporate governance issue later on. And we are also given the bigger company's website and as well as the KPIs. Now, there are all sorts of information going on here. So, for example, the introduction of the uh, Beagle Company is in the TNC industry, operating in the fake country called Beeland, and with a population of over 200 million people. And of course, in this market, which means in operating in Beeland, currently, Beagle Company and an other competitor accounts for most of the market share in this country. So it's like the oligopoly market again. However, the biggest thing from my perspective for Beagle Companies to operate or to compete with, it, with others would be to make sure that the price charge will not be high enough. I will tell you exactly how and why in a second. Now, Established 12 years ago, and um, currently is the public listed company, okay, and the second largest business in terms of revenue and in terms of the customers' numbers. And of course, we can work out that market share later on. For the current pre seen application note, I've prepared you 18 chapters covering the main summary an application to the pre scene with the real life uh, research and then the macro environment using the pestle analyses, micro environment using the Porter's five forces analyses 
And even the Portis Diamond, SWAT, Portis Value Chain, and other things, all about the strategic stuff. And then the culture web, leadership, project and change management, talent management, and even the control over IT, that's important to this company. We'll also talk about the ethical issues involved, especially related to how you retain and use the client's data. The corporate reporting issues, for example, is the integrated report stuff. And we'll show you how this topic may be examined. The agencies and stakeholders, because when operating in this industry, of course, the, for example, the taxi drivers in the country, their interests will be affected. The environmental issues, CSR issues, organization structure and strategy, cyber security, internal controls and risks. And we will be mixing these syllabus knowledge and apply to the current case Beagle company. Okay, now, of course, these are the study packages that we offer anyway. Now, uh, let's start with the chapter one, okay, it's the pre-scene summary. For the first paragraph, firstly, I've summarised into very simple words for you to quickly revise before the actual exam. But more importantly, we'll go through the pre scene application. So for example, there are, I've listed 10 real life companies such as Uber and Lyft, all based in the USA, and the Grab based in Southeast Asia. And of course, as you can see, the main competitive advantage for each of these companies will be a dominant player in the local market or internationally global market, for example, for Uber. And of course, for Beagle Company, my view is this. When expanding the business or choosing whichever strategies that you like, it's important that we bear that in mind whether or not we should be the number one in the local market or in the global market. So this is absolutely important key there. So that will be the first perspective that we need to think about. The second perspective that we need to think about is that whether or not we should pursue economies of scale or benefit of scale in this industry. I mean, if I were you, I would like to choose to operate globally as the number one player. At the same time, I will allow many of his users who register on my platform, which means I will pursue the benefit of scale applied to this company. Because, I mean, the benefits of scale, which means that we'll need to increase the user's numbers. Okay, so or who will register on our platform. Because by doing that, we'll ensure the reliability of the services that we offer. I will tell you how in a second. And of course, the third thing I will need to consider when operating this industry is all about the life cycle. And of course, there will be very clear evidence from the pre scene that we are at the growth stage of the industry life cycle, but more towards the maturity stage. But currently, we are at the growth stage. So this means that we'll need to think about the marketing stuff, okay, in order to grow up our business further. And that's important. And of course, there'll be plenty of other companies. So for example, the Didi, okay, based in China. However, Interestingly, DD has been delisted from the US Stock Exchange. And of course, that could be one of the major risks that we need to consider for the Beagle Company. 
There's currently bigger companies, the public listed company, so what if on the exam day that we may consider to delist from the stock exchange? So you need to tell me the reasons behind it. I will tell you exactly how in a second. Plenty of other companies that you can read. Okay, now the second application I would like to share with you is that most of these companies go listed in this particular industry. I mean, you can see from the previous examples, plenty of these companies are not public listed companies. So the simple answer to this question is that no, you don't really have to. Now, you would need to tell the examining team that if your company is delisted, like Didi Chuxing, okay, from China. For example, you can find the venture capitalist firm or the private equity firm to provide you with the private funding. So you can suffer from less regulatory scrutiny, okay, in terms of your reporting, and that's important. Because in this industry, we need to have tight control over your accounting policy. So for example, whether or not you recognise revenue on a gross basis or on a, on a net basis. It really depends on whether or not you're acting as a principal or an agent per the IFRS number 15. And of course, in the SBR exam, we don't really have to learn any sort of IFRS related knowledge. But you must admit the fact that this industry is very, very complicated, really. Not from the user's point of view, because from the user's point of view, very straightforward. However, from a company's point of view, suffering from lots of regulatory scrutiny, especially how you handle clients' money and how you're going to be paying taxes, especially if you're running your business globally. And even as the, from a founder's point of view, better control of a business, we've got sufficient cash flows to cover all of our costs. We don't need external funding. Except for the fact that if you want to be the first player globally, yes, retaining your status. But there will be plenty of other ways that we can work so we can expand our businesses. I'll show you how in a second. Now, you must admit the fact that government in this industry will certainly be the key player. Not necessarily be satisfying the government because per the Mendelo's mapping matrix, it's like government, yes, high power to intervene our activity. I mean, traditionally, in other industries, the government may not be quite interested in our daily operations or having a lower stake in our business in terms of taxes. However, in this industry, government will be very much interested in our operations. At the same time, higher stake in our companies. And from a society's point of view as well, because if we operate in this country, for example, the original taxi driver's job opportunities will be affected. So this is why we we'll need to treat our government as a key player and to satisfy whatever requests that they set. And of course, as you can see, a lot of these companies, including uh, Didi, including Uber, are affected. For example, Uber faced restrictions and partner with licensed taxi companies when operating their business in Germany. So it's very important, it's all about the communication stuff, okay? So perhaps we may need to set up a joint venture business again on the exam day with the local licensed taxi companies in order to operate from there. So everything will be possible. And of course, for Ola, okay, the license we worked in London in 2020 because of the public safety concerns, but later reinstated after an appeal. So you need to think about to introduce something new the new services that you could provide. 
For example, the Gojek, the bike hailing services, are banned because of the public safety issues, again. And of course, currently, in our company, that we have got that service as well to offer. So make sure that you're aware that the stakeholder analysis, especially for the government, that's very, very important there. Now, I've also listed some of the companies in this industry, originally, they've achieved great success. However, they failed. For example, the sidecar company shut down in 2015 is the US-based company. The reason is that they cannot achieve market dominance in the US and can't compete with Uber, for example. As I said before, in order to successfully competing with other competitors in the market, you will need to think about whether or not you, you can be the first or the key player in the local market or the global market. Because the operating costs in this industry will be very, very high enough. Another example would be a taxi for sure from India. And of course, Ola eventually purchased taxi for sure and council is banned. And all the operations built into its own platform. Okay, so that would be another stuff that you need to be aware of. The OFO, okay, from China providing the bike sharing services, as you can see there, eventually filed for bankruptcy in 2018. At that particular moment in time, it owed money to lots of users. Because for OFO, the ways that it operates its business would be to get the prepaid money from the clients who deposited their money to the OFO. And OFO kept producing additional bikes to expand or to scale up the activities. However, finally, the funding problem happened in OFO company. OFO found it very difficult to repay the money back to the user. And finally, it went bankrupt. And another company, auto cap company, I mean, in the UK, providing dispatch software for taxis, but acquired by Uber. Okay, now, uh, everything is possible on the exam day. Now, another thing I would like to share with you always will be the financial structure for companies operating in the TNC industry. Now, I've taken the example from Uber. As you can see, more than 50% of these costs are paying to driver and all about the insurance, for example. So these are known as cost of sales or cost of revenues, if you like. R&D, all about the platform, is about 13% of your revenue. Sales and marketing, 22%, and other stuff, 12%. So as you can see, for companies in this industry, sales and marketing, that's very important. So make sure that you're aware of this. Now, for companies operating in the TNC industry, the sort of business model or how you can get your revenue or the revenue stream, for example, you can use the commission-based model. So this means that each and every time for a particular transaction, that the Beagle company will take a commission. For example, like in the industry, 15 to 30% on that. Let's say a customer pays through the platform $10. And of course, the Beagle company, let's say, will take 15% out, out of that 10. So that means the Beagle company will take $1.5 and the remaining 8.5 will be paid to the driver. Okay, for example, it's like the commission-based model. Now, the biggest advantage of operating using this model, such as what Beagle Company is currently doing, is that we don't really have to maintain our fleet of vehicles. It will save us lots of capital investment at the very first start. 
So this is why I always said that for companies in this industry, we don't really have to be a public listed company, as always. And of course, surge pricing model that our company is currently using, for example, we may be charging a premium based on the demand. Subscription model, for example, famous company Lyft and the company Ola currently using, allowing customers to pay on a monthly basis. Perhaps we may be partner and advertise with other companies and get the commission from the restaurant, for example. And even the micro-mobility, multi-service model, for example. But you need to make sure they understand that not in every circumstance that we introduce something new or digital services that we can have sufficient demand to cover our initial investment. Because, for example, the micro-mobility, such as the company called OFO in China, I've told you before, so they've spent lots of money in producing these bikes. However, due to the problem of funding, they don't have sufficient funds to maintain that business model and finally filed and go bankrupt. So make sure that you're aware of that risk. So this means that if you're operating using this model currently in our business, mind the funding problem. So don't forget, in the SBO exam nowadays, yes, we do have the management accounting and even a bit of financial management stuff in there. So for example, it's the long-term funding issues. So need to be aware of that. And of course, other models such as the food and goods delivery and corporate and business services models, for example, working with government and so on, you will need to mind the receivables issues, okay? So whether or not you will receive the money on time from the large entities or the large clients, for example. Perhaps you may be operating using the white label and also the licensing model. This model allows other companies to start up their own business but using your brand and your technology and your platform. And these companies will be paying you the royalty expense or payment, which means from bigger companies' point of view, one of our revenue streams may be to receive the royalty income from other companies. Now, before we dip into additional analysis, in the next section, starting from the industry life cycle applies to the bigger company and what can bigger company do at the growth stage to compete and the strategy clock applies to Beagle, all sorts of things. And I'm going to be stopping the section now and I look forward to seeing you in my course or in the next section where we will be discussing the Beagle company later on. Bye for now. APC, accounting for your future.